What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about how to get an investment from women, the best ways to make women invest. Now, guys, this is very important to get these investments from women because it's when you get somebody to invest in something, anything, it's harder to just walk away. Okay, guys? So if any of y'all guys, I'm going to tell y'all guys something right now. Never let anybody drive your car or wear something that belongs to you because they're not going to take care of it like you because they're not invested in it. And I found this out the hard way with a friend one time. Uh, this was in New York. And he was driving my car. Now, I'm not saying everybody's like this. I'm in a passenger seat. And this motherfucker is driving like he's in the Daytona 500 with my car. Hitting potholes 100 miles per hour. And I said to myself, Self, do you think this son of a bitch would be driving like this if this his car? Hell fucking no. But he's not invested in it. It's not his car. He didn't work and save his money to buy this motherfucker. So what does he care? So the point what I'm trying to tell you guys is, when you invested in something, you care. When your woman invests in you, she cares. There will be no emotional attachment if there's no respect and investment. If somebody gives you something for free, let's say somebody's offering a course that they sell for $5,000, but they decide to give it to you for absolutely free. Well, you don't give a damn. You're not invested in it. What do I care? I don't give a shit. But when you invest in it, you got damn right. You're going to handle it. You're going to handle it and treat it with respect. You're going to absorb the information. You're going to look over it several times. Somebody gave it to you for free. You might glance at that motherfucker here and there. Look at it again next week. You don't give a shit. It didn't cost you nothing. So make sure you get that investment, guys. That's the only way you can get anybody to care about anything is they have to be invested. That's why these motherfuckers want you to put 5, 10, 20% down. They want your ass invested. And if you don't put 20% down, what they want? They want a poor private mortgage insurance. Why? Because they know that, hey, this motherfucker, he got this zero down or 3% down. If that's a cheap house, even though it's some money you ain't invested in, you can say, ah, you know what? I don't really give a shit. I'm losing $3,000, but I ain't going to lose no sleep over it. Opposed to if you don't win to put 25 grand. Oh, hell no. We got to sell some blood cells, uh, white blood cells, a kidney. Hell no, I'm not going to lose my $25,000, $30,000 I put down on this motherfucker. Ah, I put $1,500 down. Ah, you know, it stings a little bit, but I'll be okay. So guys, this is why it's important to get these emotional and these investments from women. All right, let's get into the list. Number one, the number one investment you can get from women. I'm not, I'm not taking these in order, but this was purposely number one sexually a sexual investment now i think if y'all guys remember steve harvey i think that was think like a man because i didn't read the book but i watched the movie and it was a part in there where he was talking about a woman making a man wait 90 days and he was he was using the analogy of when you start a job the job don't offer you their benefits package when you start you have to wait 90 days before you get that benefit in other words the company is not ready to invest in you fully yet you still basically a temp we ain't got you on uh payroll uh all the other shit that come with being a full-time hire right we ain't ready to invest in you like that we need to see how you work out for 90 days and so basically that's what he was saying from a woman for a woman to do to not make that investment yet. This is exactly why you want to get that investment from a woman as fast as possible. Now, I am not talking about sluts. 
I am not talking about Boquisha that you just go smoke weed with and get your dicks up. I am not talking about them hood rats that all you got to go do is get a little Belvedere and y'all can go handle beer. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about women who respect themselves, women who put value on their body count. Some women are sexually liberated and they don't give a damn, but it's, some women do. Some women care about their body the same way you care about your money. You don't want to go on frivolous dates and they don't want to sleep with frivolous men. So the point being, guys, is sexually, you have to get her to invest sexually fast as possible as po within three dates, maybe four. For my uh, real religious people, or if you was more patient like me back in the day, I think I would, I would give it like six weeks back in my 20s, right? If it was a girl that I really wanted to bang, and I knew, at least from what she presented to me, that she wanted it easy, at that point, I probably would go like six weeks. I would give it six weeks then. But that was about it. That was what it was back in the day. Back in the day, I would give it a month and a half. Now a month tops is that's 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 a month tops. Because if she's not willing to make that investment in me, then I know that. So like when you guys are going out, let me explain to you guys like this. Let's hypothetically say you're dating a woman, right? And let's hypothetically say every time y'all went on a date, you spent less than $20. And let's say on the after the third date or the second date or whatever right for whatever reason it just fizzled out you wouldn't give a shit because you're not invested and that's the same thing you see from these women when you haven't slept with them they don't they don't care if it fizzles out they haven't slept with you yet so you guys need to get that investment from women what i would tell you guys is keep your investment as low as possible when you date these women initially because they are not invested. Now, here's the catch to that. I must tell both sides. For every guy that's watching his budget when he's on a date, there's another simp willing to spend a couple hundred dollars on a steak dinner. So you guys got to understand that the sexual marketplace is a competition. It, I don't make the fucking lose. Don't come over here with I don't compete, this, that, I'm just telling you what it is, motherfucker. Don't bring that shit over here. I'm just telling you what it is. So us over here, the guys like me and some of you guys who are not going to make these investments up front and you want to go to the, the Piggly Wiggly for the second date and some other guys take want to take her to Capitol Grill, you might get flaked on. That comes with the territory. It's no different than, let's hypothetically say you had a girl that you really liked and you wanted to go on a date with her Friday night and then out of the blue, dick sucking Brenda hit you up Thursday and say, hey, I'm in town and I'm only got one night in town. That's tomorrow night. And I got to leave uh, Friday, uh, uh, Saturday morning. It's a good chance that it, it, uh, dick sucking Brenda is, 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 is hot or sexy. You got a choice between going and getting your dicks up or taking another bitch to a goddamn get some drinks. Ah, this ain't, that ain't a hard decision. I'm going to take dick sucking Brenda for 100, Alex. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you. I think I might have to go get my dick sucked. So the sexual marketplace is a competition. So y'all guys got to understand that that's the catch to when you keep your investments down on these dates that it's always another simp. That's will do what you won't do. I'm not telling you go spend because I'm still not going to do it. Not till I get some ass. But I am. I'm very well aware that if I'm taking a girl uh, to the, the shitty pub time and you call and you taking her ass to Nobu, uh, I ain't looking too good for me. And, I'm, and I'll accept that. Okay, guys? So just putting it out there. But sexually is the best way to get the investment from women, not sluts. That don't mean nothing to sluts. They don't care nothing about that. They'll fuck you, your daddy, your cousin, all in the same, not, not them. I'm talking about the girls who, who respect their body count.
two, next, time. Now, I've had guys hit me up and say, AMS, all these girls want to do is text. I can't get them to talk. The reason why that is, guys, is you have to be aware of these girls like this here who just like to text and you can't get them to talk on the phone. And for all you guys who wonder why they want to talk on the phone, it's because I've said that the best way you can fill a woman out, gauge her interest is to talk on the phone. Some women you'll call, say you get their number, you'll call them and they'll text you back and say, hey, I'm, I'm busy, what's up? They don't want to invest no time talking to you. What does that tell you? Sound to me like they just want some free dates or they just gave you their number on some bullshit. Because a woman who is interested in talking to you and getting to know you, she's going to want to talk to you on the phone. When you see a woman that don't want to invest time, I'm not talking about a date because a date is entertainment, right? I'm out the house. Even if we're not eating, I'm out the house. You know, I'm out the house. That's entertainment. Talking the phone is not entertainment. That's just getting to know. And what you'll see is with women who really aren't interested in really getting to know you, they don't want to talk on the phone. They want to text. So if you call them, they'll text you back. Now, I have no problem with that for me, right? Because I assume everybody want me. But for my guys on here that I specifically told y'all guys, the best way to filter a woman out is to talk to her on the phone. And, 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 how you, and, and, and the reason that is, guys, if she's on the phone, like, you like, hey, what's up, man? I speak to Sandra. Yeah, this Sandra. Hey, so what you got going on tonight? Nothing. Oh, so uh, you work today? Yeah, I got off at five, though. You see how she ain't giving you no dialogue? You see how she just responding to you? And it's a, like a it's like a, 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 a job interview. She ain't like, yeah, did you work today? She ain't giving you no comeback. Like, what you up to tonight? What was your weekend? You answer her question and she just answered them. Some of y'all guys get that on the day naps, right? I get it too. I'm talking about y'all like I don't get it. I get it too. Well, I ask a woman something. Hey, you live in Atlanta? Yeah. So what you getting into this weekend? Nothing much. My, me and my sister just going out to brunch. No, no investment on her part. Energy to actually tax. How about yourself? So time, guys, is you got if you want to get a woman to invest, if you can get her to talk on the phone or something like that, that's an investment because you're not. <laughs> so one thing. Let, let me just talk about this. I, 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 you know, I know it's going to take the video too long, but I just whatever. Right. Y'all know me. Y'all know I get on these little tangents. So one thing that's been lost in the dating game is that men don't talk on the phone no more. Because texting has taken over and all this and that other. And even back in the day, guys, I remember back then, I would talk to girls on the phone, but I hated it. And I would have girls who wanted to constantly talk on the phone, talk on the phone, talk on the phone. Now, hindsight is 2020. I realize how great of a, um, how you can uh, screen out a lot of women by the communicate, phone communication. Because talking on the phone is a great way to get to know a woman without spending money. And so it, it I, you know, I was thinking about this a few months ago and, and, and it, it makes sense because I remember back in the day when I was broke all the time, I don't remember like dates being, spending money on dates being like an issue like it is now. Like you'll go on a bunch of frivolous dates now but if I fast forward back 20 years ago, we didn't go on a bunch of frivolous dates. And the reason is, not at hindsight 2020, is because you can screen out a lot of women who really weren't interested in you by talking to them on the phone. So if a woman was acting cold with, towards you on the phone, 
then you wouldn't just ask her out. That's just the way it was. Another way it was back in the day, guys, and this just the way it, this the way we did things. And, and, and I'm going to get to this later in the video also, or maybe I can just talk about it here, is it was just commonplace, guys. A woman had to initiate contact. You didn't just call a woman and then expect her to do nothing. Now, that was one of my uh, talking, that was one of my talking points, and I'll uh, talk about it a little here. Well, how we did things was, 20 years ago was, you would call, you would get a woman's number, you would call her, and you y'all would talk on the phone for maybe a week or so before y'all set up a date. But in that week time, we didn't, the man didn't do all the communicating. The woman had to call you too. And women didn't expect you to do all the pursuing. They actually had to participate. If they didn't, then y'all would just, the communication would be broken. So back in the day, how it was 20 years ago is, you would call a woman, talk to her, and if you never heard from her again, you never called her again. Somewhere in between 20 years ago and today, it's almost like expected for women not to initiate contact when that's just not the way it was 20 years ago a woman knew that she had to initiate contact too so the the the, the talking on the phone one of the reasons why men go on so many frivolous dates d today is because we have excluded the phone conversation as in a, a lot of bullshit then came out over the last few years that has caused a ripple ripple in some of the natural tactics men use. And so a lot of the shit y'all hear about the phone is for setting dates. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something else about the phone. The phone is for weird and out women who just want free dates too. And you get that. If, if all you do is you text a woman, if you text a woman and say, Hey, how your day going? She say, it's going great. And then you say, hey, are you free Friday night? Well, you just require no time investing on her part. So then she shows up. But had you talked to this woman on the phone a couple of times or required her to initiate contact, you wouldn't have wasted that 30 or 40 or 50 bucks that you spent on that date taking her out. Because her actions would have showed you that she either isn't interested or too entitled. In any effect, you don't want to be dealing with that shit. You want a woman that feels like she has to do something too. So I just wanted to bring that up. That a lot of the, the old talking points and stuff with the phone is for setting dates. The phone is for setting dates. Yeah, but the phone is for making her get making a, a, a time investment also. So I'm not trying to turn you guys into chatty patties on the phone where you resort to what we used to do 20 years ago. Well, when we talk to the girls two, three hours and make love to them on the phone, all that shit, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is when you got a girl, you call her and she texts you back. What you text her ass, call me when you're free. Call me back when you're free. Don't let her ass off the hook. You call a woman, you finna try to, you know, you finna try to set a date or conversate, whatever the case is, and she texts you back. Hey, I'm busy right now. I'm out with friends. What's up? Oh, now, sorry to disturb you, but hit me, hit me when you get in or hit me. If you get in too late, hit me up tomorrow. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I, I, we need that. I need that time investment from you. I'm not saying you got to sit on the phone with her for an hour, but bitch, you're going to give me 10 minutes of your time. If you can't do that, yeah, you know, you sitting there rubbing your belly and shit for Friday night. Yeah, you can start rubbing your belly. Yeah. I know we only doing shitty pub, but it won't be shit if your ass don't call me back. So time investment, guys. And that's more than just talking on the phone. That's just, you know, chilling at the house whenever you're not spending no money. It's easy to get time from a woman that you're taking her to the nicest restaurant in town. Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready to go too. But how about when I ain't spending no money and we just sitting our ass down? Or talking on the phone. So make sure y'all guys get that time investment. 
Next, guys, commuting. Commuting, guys, is it's an energy effort that requires energy and time on her part. So you guys got to understand that when somebody, let's hypothetically say y'all stay an hour apart and y'all meet in the middle, y'all guys know a lot of women in that case will want you to come right by them. But if you can get that 30 minutes coming and 30 minutes going back, she gonna have a harder time walking away from this cause she's put effort into this. And you know some, I mean, I, you know what, I'll, I'll make that another talking point cause I just thought about some, I'll make that another talking point cause it, it needs a whole topic. But um, make sure that you're not doing all the commute, preferably guys, preferably. Since you're going to be paying and I don't care how much it is. I don't care if it's $20 or $100. Since you're going to be paying, make her come to you. That's the way that works. You don't pay and in turn go to her. I'll pay. You come to me. That's how that works. She need to put some effort in also. You spending money. She can at the very least come to you. Next, guys, chores. Now, me, and like I said, guys, these are energy investments. The commuting, the chores, these are energy investments. Not so much emotional investments. These are energy investments. For me, chores, my thing is I just like for whatever girl I fool with to cook for me one day out the week. I don't really get into the cleaning and stuff because I have a system. I don't know about you guys. I got a specific way. I like everything done around. I like my dishes put up a certain way. I like my bed. I had one chick made my goddamn bed. If any of y'all guys, if you, I'm telling you right now, if you ever have a girl make your bed, I'm telling you, you're not going to like it. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to like it. It's going to look like a, you know what? I'm not going to even go there. I'm not even going to say the R word. It's going to look like a mentally challenged third grader made the bed. That's what it's going to look like. I'm yet to meet a girl that makes my bed the way I like it to be made. So I don't get into the cleaning. I don't get into the running the errands and shit like that because I have a lot of free time on my hand to go do it and shit like that for myself. Uh, since I work from home, I actually look look at that as a way to get out the house and go run some errands and stuff and shit like that. So I don't like girls. I understand for you guys that might work 8, 10, 12 hours a day outside the home to where you might be like, hey, stop by and, you know, stop by the grocery store or stop by and get this. But since I have a lot of free time on my hand and I work from home, I actually like running my errands. I like cleaning my own house because I know the way I like for shit to be done. I'm very peculiar, particular about how I like everything done, but cooking, that's how I get my investment. This is why I tell you guys, don't have girls pay for dates. They can buy the groceries and cook for you. That's the way you get a woman invest. When you have a woman, if you guys try to get, when you guys have a woman pay for dates and stuff, you run the risk of putting her in a masculine energy because now at that point, she's in control because when somebody's paying, the right way it goes about it, if I pay, we go to where I say go. Now, obviously, if you're allergic to seafood, I'm not going to go pick a seafood spot, right? So, I, you know, I take that all into account, but I'm still going to pick the spot. So at that point, she's leading the interaction. So that's why I ask you guys to never let women pay for dates, ever. She can buy the groceries and cook for you, Okay. How, why is that? Well, she know everything she need to cook. So she might as well get it. And what's, what's she going to spend? 15 bucks? 10 bucks probably? 10, 15 dollars? Probably 10. So that's why I let women cook. But you want to get that investment. Y'all guys got to understand that when, a, when, when shit hit the fan and things are not, well, she's, 
okay, so here, here we, this, let me say it this way. There's a better way of explaining why I talk about the investment. Your girl is at the mall. Your girl is at the supermarket. And some good looking motherfucker, some good looking motherfucker with two earrings. Y'all want to know somebody, a dude with two earrings? Y'all want to know. If y'all guys ever want to know what, if you ever see a man with two earrings in his ear, I'm telling you right now, that motherfucker think he cute. Not handsome. Not good looking. That motherfucker think he hot shit. I bet y'all guys, if you think about it, you ain't never seen a motherfucker with two earrings in his ear with goddamn self-esteem issues. I, I, I guarantee you, you ain't never seen a motherfucker with two earrings that ever struggled with self-esteem. That motherfucker think he hot shit. I want y'all guys to just think about any motherfucker you ever seen with two earrings. If a motherfucker got one earring, he think he half cute. But a motherfucker got two earrings, oh shit. That motherfucker think he hot. And yes, I got two earrings. You goddamn skippy. I told you we all got some feminine bitch assness in us. That's mine. I told y'all that. We all got some bitch assness in us. That's mine. The two earrings. Can't tell me I ain't a goddamn a, a, a hot motherfucker. But anyway, and she's approached by this guy with two earrings. And he's talking good and he makes a good income, maybe even a little bit more than yours. What the woman starts to say, and I'm taking all this from a point of the attachment, because y'all guys know the investment part is part of the attachment. Respect and investment is what gives you the attachment, right? And so what a woman weighs is how invested she is in you. Do y'all guys get that? How invested? And it'll be something like this. Let's hypothetically say you're a police officer, right? And you got to work 20 years to retire, right? And let's hypothetically say you've been working at that job 15 years and you got five years before you get your pension, right? But somebody approaches you with a, th with a, with a job offer that's going to pay you 50% more than the police force. What you're going to weigh is how invested you is towards that pension. Even though it's more money, you're going to weigh these 15 years into that. And so with women, what, when you get these investments, even when she's presented with a better option per se, well, then she go back to the investment. This is why y'all guys see people instead of just buying a new car and they just keep fix, trying to fix this motherfucker up, instead of just cutting their losses, and saying, man, you know, it's just time for a new car. They'll just change the motor out, change the transmission out, get the car aligned, get all the rotors and shit. Instead of just buying a new car because now they so invested. And this is the reason why you want to get women invested because when women are approached with better options per se, a high value man or a high earning man or a better looking man or a man that she finds more attractive, she's going to weigh the investments into it the time invested all the effort and energy to get things where they are to just throw that all away for a maybe for for a maybe and when i say a maybe maybe he just wants to fuck maybe he wants more who the fuck knows so am i gonna throw away all this energy and effort i invested into this relationship for a fucking maybe So that's why you want to get these investments, guys. Next, guys, money. I don't mean cashola. I'm talking about in the form of birthday and Christmas gifts. Yes, you do not, and, and all this is going to be income dependent and relative, right? Income relative, but relative to income, but you don't go out and buy your girl a $1,200 purse and she in turn buys you a $20 wallet. No. Mm -mm. She need to invest 
in you the same way you invested in her. So I tell you guys a story. After the Sunday chick in New York had another chick. I bought her a pair, was it, I think Gucci, Gucci um, high heels, Gucci high heels. She paid for me a massage. Gave me the little card for the massage. No lie, guys. Gave her that shit back. And so I told her flat out, guys. Hell no. Flat out. Mm-mm. She ended up going to get me a Gucci wallet. Yeah, we got we to gotta fill that gap in. This Gucci wallet was from that girl. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't rock like that. I don't get you no Gucci shoes, high heels, and you come back with a goddamn uh, massage certificate. No, no. Mm -mm. Now, maybe she didn't know I was going to spend that much. Hey, maybe so. And like I said, all this is income dependent, guys. Uh, I've been making a lot of money for a long time. So me spending, buying a pair of Gucci uh, high heels is probably like one of you guys buying a girl a sunny bottle of water. Serious. So like a lot of you guys, don't, I, I was making good money before I came to YouTube. A lot of you guys don't know. I don't know if some of y'all guys think that I was still in the basement when I joined YouTube. Guys, I already, I, I was already making like $250 uh, and, built, and, my, and my security company was building. There ain't no doubt in my mind that had I not started YouTube, that I'd probably be making more money doing that. But I obviously have more passion to do this. And this requires less, less effort than training clients all day and running a security company, right? But I have more passion for this because this allows my outlet for comedy, right? So I have more passion for this. So I, I chose right because I have more passion for it. But so y'all guys got to understand that when you say Gucci, are you buying bitch a Gucci suit? I've been making I've been making a lot of money for a long time, seriously. And, and that's that's not me fabricating or bragging or nothing. That's the guy on the truth. I've been making a decent income for a while now. So I say all that to say all this. I bought her a pair of Gucci shoes, and you come back with a massage certificate. That we're gonna have to work on that. Flat out told her that that ain't good enough, and she. Got me this Gucci wallet. Okay? So the point being, guys, is I wanted her to invest. I could have bought the Gucci wallet and my damn self and not make a big difference. That wasn't the point. I wanted that investment. I wanted that investment. I wanted that investment from you. That your ass going to spend something into it too. It was nothing for me to buy my own damn Gucci wallet. But I was setting the president that I'm not finna be around here buying you nice shit. I know you can't spend what I spend, but we're going to have to get a little closer than that. Okay, guys. All right, so I'm going to stop it right there. I don't know how the hell, guys, I'm all these videos are going this long, so I still got six more talking points. So I'm going to just do a part two to this. I don't know how the fuck I'm rambling on this much now or whatever. Maybe I need to work on that, the rambling that I'm doing because... I was doing these videos in 30 minutes and now I'm only getting through half of them in 30 minutes. So maybe I have to cut down on the rambling. But I like the rambling. Y'all y'all know how I am. I like the ramble. I like talking about bringing fucking slavery and the all type of shit into got, got nothing to do with the video. I like doing these little crazy tangents. So anyway, all right, guys. I'll get back with you guys next time.